Veronica. This is the whole case file. How'd you get this? I'm sure you know breaking and entering is a felony. Come on. I knew the felonies before I knew the state capitals. So are you gonna ask if I did it? I wouldn't be here if I thought you did. Well, first off, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's go all the way back to the beginning. Do you remember your first audition for Veronica Mars and, and, and getting, getting the part? And... I do, actually. Wow, I haven't thought about that in so, so long. Um, I loved the pilot when I read it, and I had liked a lot of other pilots, but there was something really special about this one, and I felt like her voice was already my voice, because we were very similar. I was much snarkier when I was younger. And um, I had a great audition, and then you have a series of three auditions. You test for the studio and then for the network, and in between my studio and network tests, I ran into Rico Colantoni on the street, who, uh, had been cast and I, I felt like that was maybe a sign that we were supposed to work together and thankfully it was. My daughter, the big shot New York lawyer. You're destined for greatness. Local authorities have ruled the death a homicide and are focusing their investigation on her boyfriend, Logan Eccles. I need your help, Veronica. I don't really do that anymore. I auditioned for the pilot. I think I was auditioning for Duncan Kane. Didn't get it, didn't get a call back, awful, fine. And then I think they got, the pilot got picked up and then I came back and read for Dick Casablancas and I got, I think it was like a, just one, one word and then like another like little scene that got cut. So I ended up with, I looked like an extra, which is great, I love it. And then from that one episode, I got to do another and another and I got to say like, dude, and then like, whoa, you know? And then they kind of built a character, it's pretty great. What's this? I specifically told the agency and eager to please brunette. Dick. Hey Logan, that girl who follows you around is here. I, and I ended up doing like 10 guest stars the first season and then a regular season two and three and really learned all, everything on that show. I mean, I learned so much on that show from Kristen and from Jason and everyone. So most of my stuff was with Jason and um, he'd really work with me on it because I was very green. I, I didn't know anything. And so he was so great. So it was kind of like an acting class for me. Yeah, I remember getting cast. Go for it. Uh, mine was pretty easy. I, 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 it was 2006, it was in the summer. I found out that there was a, a character available. Uh, they're, they're a new series regular. I went in, it was Rob, Diane, Dan Etheridge. And I literally just read it once and Rob was like, okay. You know, like in his sort of <laughs> geeky, sweet voice. And then I left and literally that afternoon got a phone call and I got the job. It was very mellow. Um, so that was my story. What about yours? That's cool. I came in and I read for the role of Duncan, who is like the straight boy. And I had been like watching a lot of James Dean movies, so I went and did the straight boy, like about to commit suicide. And, <laughs> and they said, maybe not this role, but try this one. And they gave me the bad boy role. Went out to the parking lot for 15 minutes, worked on it, and came back and uh, went to the network test. Kristen was there. She read the lines with me. Uh, I just connected with her. I was just evil, and it was fantastic. And uh, my one note on set was like, "Have more fun, buddy. Have fun." Like, and that was it. And I created Logan. Oh my God, Veronica Mars. Hi, Gia. So many mixed emotions right now. I kind of hated you like a lot, but I don't anymore. I'm just trying to remember my progress here because blaming you for telling the whole world that my dad was a pedophile is what my therapist calls misplaced aggression. Did I audition for Gia Goodman? No, I didn't. I think I auditioned for something else named like Wanda. This is all coming back to me right now. Um, and I so you auditioned for a part, that didn't get did that part. Did not get that part. And then I got Gia Goodman. And was that later on, they just kind of, they, they yeah. liked your auditions, like you just weren't good for that part, but they, exactly. they knew they wanted to exactly. utilize you. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. And was, Rob Thomas was, he was true to his word. I remember him telling me in the room or whatever it was, he told me, it's like, you're gonna be on the show at some point. I'm on to something, Dad. It's big. It's just the tip of the iceberg. Everyone is on the take. Veronica, whatever you're doing, please be careful. How did Veronica Mars even just get created? You know, you're titled with the creator. A lot of people probably don't understand. Right. Okay, what, what does that even mean? Right. Um, the creator of a TV show is usually the person who writes the pilot script, generally is the person who originates uh, the idea, though not always. I mean, you can be a, a creator of a TV show. Like right now I'm doing a pilot called I, Zombie that is based on a DC comic book of the same name, and yet I will still get credit for creating the TV 
TV series. So it's usually the person who writes the pilot. Veronica Mars came about, um, I had had an idea for uh, a young adult novel. I had written four for Simon and & Schuster and I would sold them pitches for my next two books and one of those was called Untitled Teen Detective and it was very much uh, Veronica Mars except in the original book pitch it was a boy. And uh, I got hired on my first TV job, moved from Texas to Hollywood, didn't go back to writing books and yet that idea stuck with me. And somewhere along the way, I decided it would be more interesting with a girl in that detective role. And, uh, and that's how Veronica Mars came to be. You probably heard that they were, there was an interest in doing the film. Were you surprised that it came to be? Yeah, for sure. I never in a million years thought that we'd make a Veronica Mars movie. I never thought I would reprise my role as G. Goodman ever. Uh, and then when I got an email, I, there was always like rumbling about it. People were like, oh, it'd be so cool. Like someday they'll make a movie. Just never came to. Uh, and when I got an email from Rob Thomas asking me if I was interested and available to be Gia again, I was like, absolutely, let's do it. Where do I, where do I show up? Where do I sign? I'm shocked you even came to this. I knew you'd be here. You've been sitting there since graduation, haven't you? One of the big keys in, in the movie is a kind of a class reunion. Did it feel like a class reunion coming, you know, yes, coming back to the Yes, that's set? how I would describe our, our set experience. It felt like a class reunion. Because we all were young, you know? I think I was like 23 when he did that show, and Kristen was probably 24, 25, the same. All of us were like that young, and that was fun. It was just crazy to be back. What are you gonna use your stun gun on me? Don't you think that's gotten a bit old? Original enough for you? 